just a glance away, a warm embracing dance away, and ever since that night, we've been together, lovers at first sight, in love forever, it turned out so right, for strangers in the night. Wait, you can't mean... We are mated. Yes, I know. I was there, but... And now we must solemnize our union with the oath. I am not going to become your wife. You already are. Don't give me that Klingon nonsense. You would dishonor our sacred traditions? Oh, they're not sacred. They're absurd. Marrying you is out of the question for a million reasons. None of which stopped you earlier. Worf, it was what it was, glorious and wonderful and all that, but it doesn't mean anything. That is a human attitude. I am human! You are also Klingon! So that means we should bond for life? It is our way. Not mine. I will not take the oath. Then this night had no meaning. She's from a world now alien to me. What is the first thing you must do when you meet a woman? What is the first thing you should do before you even think of marrying? Get Ciroc 6 and 7, Leo. Write this down. Ciroc 6, everybody. Ciroc, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 6, Ciroc, verse 7. Chapter 6, verse 7. If thou wouldest get a friend, woo him first, and be not hasty to credit him. The Bible says, if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty. The most of what you fail to do is prove her. Lie. People are deceitful. People are evil. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. I just need to talk about it. I just need to talk about it. It's It's complicated, actually. The more you try and break it down, it's complicated. So I understand how people get there. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of times, what I've noticed in my experience is a lot of times it's black American men and black Jamaicans. And I shouldn't even just say the men, because I've met, I've met a couple of women who, who are like this. And I say men because it's, it's a very patriarchal... Um, outlook on the world and how like men and women and in some ways like I think it's, it can be even stronger than like that white supremacist patriarchy because it's like based in like we've been told all of these lies and now you know there's a there's a imbalance between men and women and that is why our community is struggling it's like it's like okay I, I'm with you No, the 
opposite of oppression is not to like then become the oppressor. What? I'm like, monarchies? Like, that's the type of shit that ended with the French Revolution and shit. Like, like, no, that, no, no. And at the same time, I understand it. My sister is a lunatic, is the local lunatic. Got all kind of problems. That's not the real her. Huh? So crazy people can do that. Crazy people can subdue the demon within. Let me make sure I say the right words so I don't offend nobody. Crazy people have the ability to suppress the demon within. And the son of an Israelitish woman, whose father was an Egyptian, went out among the children of Israel. And this son of the Israelitish woman and a man of Israel strove together in the camp. And the Israelitish woman's son blasphemed the name of the Lord and cursed. And they brought him unto Moses. And his mother's name was Shilameth, the daughter of Dibri of the tribe of Dan. And they put him in ward, that the mind of the Lord might be shown them. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Bring forth him that hath cursed without the camp. And let all that heard him lay their hands upon his head, and let all the congregation stone him. And thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, Whosoever curseth his God shall bear his sin. And he that blasphemeth the name of the Lord he shall surely be put to death, and all the congregation shall certainly stone him, as well the stranger, as he that is born in the land, when he blasphemeth the name of the Lord, shall be put to death. And Moses spake to the children of Israel, that they should bring forth him that had cursed out of the camp, and stoning with stones. And the children of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moses. Ezra 9. Now when these things were done, the princes came to me, saying, The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. But they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands.
lest there be any fornicator or profane person, as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Ecclesiasticus 47.20 Thou didst stain thy honor, and pollute thy seed, so that thou broughtest wrath upon thy children, and was grieved for thy folly. of this lesson is every male that openeth the womb. Every male that openeth the womb. And uh, to the African American females, Negro African American females that is in America, I want you to know that you, your womb was created to bring forth the chosen one. The chosen ones are the Israelites. Our, our Lord, Yahweh, says that he didn't come for any other nation but Israel only. That's Matthew 10, 6. He said he came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So black woman here in America, your womb was created to bring forth the chosen ones of Israel. The churches did not tell you this. Let's go to Luke chapter 2, verse 23. As it is written in the law of Yahweh, every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the law to Yahweh. Exodus chapter 13 verse 2 Sanctify unto me all the firstborn whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel both of man and of beast it is mine See your womb was created to bring forth the chosen vessels the chosen one Okay, let's drop down to verse 12 This is in Exodus chapter 13 verse 12 that thou shalt set apart unto the Yahweh all that openeth the matrix, and every firstling, firstling that cometh of a beast which thou hast, the males shall be Yahweh. The males shall be Yahweh. The word matrix in this verse means the womb. If you look this word up in the Strong's Concordance, it will tell you that this means the womb. 